Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great and today I have something that I will do on my DUI CNC lathe that I built and I made videos and um, some of you guys might be familiar or know what this is going to be. For those who don't know, this is going to be, it's called a T-burner because of the T-shape here and this is the burner for a DUI forge that I want to build so I can make my own knives and that's the reason why I also built my belt grinder and uh, sorry eventually I will turn this into this a tanto knife so and uh, today we need to drill and tap a hole here for the nozzle that will supply the gas it will pull in air from here and then you will have the flame here and as for nozzles most people use uh, mig welder nozzles i don't know if it's mig welder but nozzles for welders and since i do not have access to them at least not easily um, i had these nozzles here which were actually left over from uh, over 30 years ago these are nozzles used in a, a no2 system to increase power to your car and unfortunately i did have the actual nozzles well this is i think the whole i had the holder for them but uh over the years i did misplace them and these were the only things left now since they don't have any thread or anything on here and i saw on a video somebody did or read in a forum somebody used 3d printer nozzles and that's what i'm going to do i will not use this exactly one um oops i'm hitting my phone stand again uh, since it has only a short thread and i do have a longer thread here but instead of holding these together with a nut and whatnot i will just order i saw uh, a company locally that has uh, nozzles with a longer thread in the back and that will be perfect because according to the guy who made or invent not came up with the idea of these burners the optimal uh, placement of the nozzle obviously here in the center is also the center of the diameter of this tube so in my case that will be very hard to do with this nozzle but nevertheless i still need to drill and tap this and it said that it has to be as center as possible and uh, as straight as possible i'm not sure if that's going to make a whole difference but since i do have a lathe why made why not follow the instructions so what i'm going to do to hold this in the lathe i will use this take this off these are all hand, hand tightened for now and i don't think they need to be extremely tightened down but anyway that's what I'm going to use, but before that, this is what I'm using, let me get a better shot here. This is what I'm using to center my holder for the ER2020, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> for the ER20 collect holder. Just a 12mm rod, I tighten it down here, and then these screws are loose, I get this to the approximate correct position, and then I can just tighten these up and have my center correctly dialed in since I do not have a tailstock on this lathe. So now that it that is correct, I will also just for reference zero my z-axis. Oh, is it the x-axis my x x axis okay and then i can just loosen this up 
move this out of the way. And take this off. In case you don't know, to take the collect holder out, you just tip it and then you get it out. And here I have a collect holder for 8 millimeters. And you just push in. And I have a center throw here that will hold in here. I could just probably drill it right away. But let's make it as uh, accurate as possible. I think I have to move this out of the way maybe more. Ah, that's a bit slow, isn't it? Let's up this a little bit. I have to again work around my camera. My feet. Okay, now I have to guess the RPM. Let me put some of this stuff away here. Um, I have to guess my RPM. I start low with say 600 RPM. Is it too fast? We'll find out. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Check visually. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. That's dead center. Like it's supposed to be. Let me show you guys. Focus here. Oh, it's a little hard to see, but... You get the idea. Now, so that everything can be done with hand tightening. So now I have to get my tap. I will pause the video. Okay, here's my tab. Actually, I might use another one. Sorry, I did not put everything on here from the beginning. Yes, that's six. That's five. I kind of like these tabs better. So let's see what the shank is. Oh, it's even better. 593. So my six millimeter collect holder will be perfect. 
and now obviously uh, I have to do this by hand because I do not know the exact feet I would need to get this in there so let me set it up off camera and I come back well almost made a mistake by trying to tap that small hole obviously for a six millimeter tap you need a five millimeter hole and um, so we will change out the holder Quite a tight fit there. Uh, we'll see what happens. Whoops, actually, accidentally hit the stop button. So We'll fire it up. Could you do this on a drill press? Of course. But where's the fun in that? Not using a lathe, a CNC lathe. This thing comes out actually pretty hard because you got some uh, grooves here from rotating in the chuck. So anyway, that was our six millimeter, five millimeter hole. Come in closer. Okay. Let's put a dab of WD forty on here. What I'm going to do is loosen this screw and do this by hand. I just need to be able to get a straight hole uh, tap. Yep, it's going in there. That material soft. That was it. Also made a die holder that uses the same principle it has two bearings in here I use a 12 millimeter shaft put this on there and then I can uh, tap studs to whatever I need and I made a video to that as well so Okay, then I'm gonna have to tighten again so I can take it off. And in my previous videos I showed you how I made the, this holder here 
drilling it on the lathe itself and that way I do get the correct how is it called parallelism para, parallelism something like that so and that was that so now I have perfectly centered and tapped hole and uh, you'll deburr it by hand by good measure Just checking the thread. I could thread in this. So one thing uh, that's gonna be a little tricky is actually oh, well, not that tricky. <laughs> I thought I'm gonna get this uh, when I have eventually after I <clears throat> after I get the nozzle with a longer thread, I can just thread it in from here, and then adjusted to exactly the center of the hole and then I will have thread sticking out and then I have to make an adapter if I find something to be able to use something like that so I can put a hose on it those are actually couplings for air compressors but uh, the four hoses they look a little bit different and I will get something that goes on a hose and then I just have to make this fit into the whatever coupling I find and um, then I can connect my well I will use a ball ball uh, handle thingamajiggy I don't know how they're called and then attach the hose to it and then I can adjust the flow of the gas and hopefully make a nice DUI forge for forging knives. So this is my take on, maybe a little long, but my take on getting a straight centered hole and tap into a T holder, a T, T coupling. So anyway, this is for today. And I will make a second video when I get the parts to make it to make the rest and then maybe a third video after I finish the uh, forge. So anyway, thanks for watching and if you want to support my channel, please do check out my Tinder store. You can also just like the video and maybe subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified. One second. I'm raising my voice here. Uh, to get notified of the upcoming videos, you can also, uh, did I mention my Tinder store? I think I did. You can also uh, click that, uh, what's it called, super button below the video to give a small donation. You can make a donation directly to my PayPal or maybe even become a Patreon. I still have five Patreons only it, uh, and that's for last one or two years or I think anyway um, I would appreciate any help or contribution you can give me and this is it for today thanks for watching and take care everybody